Can I mix it all up in a wearing blender? It's a rush, rush, hurry, hurry, technological, do something right now world with MTV and virtual reality, big boys with dangerous toys, Mustangs and Camaros vying for public attention. The 1960s gave us the same struggle. I gotta be somewhere and do something right now. In the microwave, atom smashing, destroy the communists, hail to old glory, where is my American dream? Can I mix it all up in a wearing blender, bake it in a corningware pan, pull it out and flash 15 seconds, worry free? Fake the Betty Crocker smile cameo. Andy Warhol promised me 15 minutes and I want to salute my mother on an episode of Oprah Winfrey. I'll grab onto the It's Not Dead Yet feminist banner and march to the stronghold of our great leader Gloria Steinem to engage in a political discourse about the state of the revolution and be blessed as a participant. We're turning home with a formulated plan on how to win this endless war of the sexes and afterwards have crumb cakes and tea under the shadow of Our Lady the Statue of Liberty. With my mouth filled with anti-patriarchal euphemisms and the ability to run ramshot over the icons of modern society fed in by the mind power of IBM and AT&T, if you haven't, you will. Shutting off my television in protest of the narrow-minded Nielsen ratings that gauge the reactions of mentally atrophied zombies who spout advertising slogans as truisms and who believe in the make-believe it's all real internet chatter. Can I really talk to ch someone in China on my computer? Yeah, it sucks me in just like a Harlan Ellison story. Look, what I am trying to say is kill your television and read a book. And hope and pray that we do not devolve into a de-evolutionary primal Darwinian scream. A cry to the divine immortals who somehow missed the boat and forgot their promise of our salvation.